What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are taking a look at the WWE Ultimate Edition Series 20 Asuka figure. Now, I want to preface this by saying I do believe, to my core, before I've even unboxed this, I think this will be the best Mattel WWE action figure female that we've ever seen. I think this is the best female figure that Mattel has ever produced under the WWE umbrella. And possibly ever. I mean, I don't know. I don't know the history or the lore of the Mattel product line, but I would say this one's going to be up there. And I was actually front row of the Royal Rumble when Asuka returned in this gear. So having this in figure form is amazing. I think it looks amazing. I love Asuka. I think she's top five female performer of all time when it's all said and done. But this looks fantastic. I can't wait to dive into it, man. This is a true specimen of figure. This is going to be on everybody's top ten probably at the end of the year. It's kind of sickening that we're already in a new year to be honest with you but nonetheless man let's dive into it got your front viewing proc shot right there you got the mast head scope you got a nice robe in there i can't wait to unbox this but on the side you do get a nice image of oscar there with her face paint which i think is sweet you get a shot of the figure up top and then of course her name and then you have a shot of her there damn put a picture from a live event in there is that the gear she's wearing right here i don't know i don't think it is nonetheless you got to get different stuff going on man but name on the side name on the top you guys know how these things work but nonetheless let's shut the hell up crack Asuka out of the packaging. Oh, no, whoa, 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 whoa. If you guys would like to grab this figure, you can do so over Ringside Collectibles. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, of course. But now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's crack Asuka out of the packaging, find out what she's all about, and see if this is indeed the best women's figure that Mattel and WWE have ever produced together. So here is Asuka out of the packaging, man. Holy shish. My God, they poured everything they had, Brad. Sugar. Spice. And everything nice. And then they dumped a huge, massive vat of Chemical X in there. I mean, holy shish, man. This is unreal. This figure is unreal. I took the time to pose it around. I got to know the accessories. Now, I'm going to be real with you here. I thought when we saw this masked head sculpt, I thought it was a separate head sculpt. That is a mask. And you guys will see it. Super detailed, but you can actually just push it onto the face sculpt. So you don't have to pop off anything. It just mushes on there. And it's very high quality. I can't wait to dive into it, man. I mean, not to mention the robe. The the gear, very MDT inspired by the way. Must be watching the channel, Asuka. Love Asuka, so she's always welcome. Got the pink, the blue, the zebra, looking good. Dude, this thing stands out, man. I definitely cannot wait to dive into this and showcase this figure, man. With that being said, let's dive into the accessories you get with the Asuka figure, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at the Asuka figure itself. So getting into the accessories with the Asuka figure, you don't get a whole ton, but I think everything here is super quality. So starting out first with our first head sculpt, we do have the smiling, grinning face here, and these are the exact same, I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's a real difference here, except for the mist. So you guys can see that she has that blue sort of speckled paint around the mouth, and that is for the mist. So it really, it would have been really awesome if they could have included some sort of mist spray face, right? That would have been unreal. Like, a, you know, use that blowing smoke head sculpt or that piece from the Goldberg Ultimate Edition, and then, you know, having like a blowing misting effect would have been so sick. Maybe something we can get down the line here, but the hair color coloration is fantastic. I like the sculpt of these. You got the ombre hair with the pink and purplish blue going on. Love the face paint. I love Asuka though. I think Asuka is so good, man. She is fantastic. When she came out at the, the Royal Rumble looking like this, I was so pumped, man. And again, I was there live for it, so I was freaking the hell out. But these look really good, and I guess this is a way to cost cut, maybe. Maybe this is a way around like to fit in that robe and whatnot. They're like, yeah, just add a little bit of paint down here, and then I'll get the job done. But of course, I would like a brand new head sculpt or a different one, and this is a brand new head sculpt. I just think I would have liked to seen a mist effect or like, like an active mist head sculpt would have been crazy but I do like these head sculpts and I guess technically you kind of get a third head sculpt if you include the mask but you do get this really detailed mask with the long hair it's got the horns on there very very badass look here I love all the paint detail this is very detailed and sculpted wise I think they did a great job but if you take the regular head sculpt here so you guys can see it's just a regular mask here and then you just you just push it on that's all you do you just push it on and it's on there that's that's literally it you just push it on and it's not like like this flimsy thing. It feels really good and then you just, you know, just stick it on there. Whatever. Boom. She's wearing the mask now. So I really like that. I think that's amazing. They did a great job on this mask. And then before we get into the robe, I do want to get into her interchangeable hands. You have these mic holding or weapon wielding style hands that does have the nail polish and then she has her black gloves in there but she does have black pegs on there so that's nice as well. And then she has her sort of like suggestive hands or like the Mandy Rose hands. And it looks like these aren't really sculpted gloves. These, uh, maybe they are. 
They may be sculpted gloves. I can't even tell. Maybe they're just painted Mandy Rose hands, but the nail polish is there. Every dude, they just checked every box, bro. It's crazy. Like the amount of detail. They didn't skip over anything. It's unreal. But I think the main event here is this cloth entrance robe, which could be the best accessory or one of the best accessories that Mattel's ever done. I mean, you have faux fur on here. I want to get all these patterns in here. I do believe this was complete, like one of one. Like they, I think they even brought in the actual robe and recreated this shot for shot. So you have all the roses in there, all the designs. I mean, it is unreal, dude. The faux fur right here, and then you have the sleeves that have the faux fur, and then you have the hanging down, like, different things going on. I mean, I can't even put it into words. You guys already saw it on the figure because I wanted to showcase it in the opening, you know, like, out of the packaging, but there's the little cuffs, and she's got the faux fur, and these hang down, and there's a back shot of it. There's no Velcro or anything, but she's even got a collar on there, and it really fits the figure well, and it even, like, drags behind her. It's just a beast of an entrance coat, man. I love this. I mean, this has to be a top five accessory that Mattel's ever done. Cloth goods wise, I mean, it could be top three and not number three. You know what I mean? I mean, this is unreal sort of uh, details here, but I do want to kind of put it on the figure here and just kind of showcase it one more time with the thing on there. And I'm not going to take, oh yeah, she also has the removable choker right there that can be pulled off. So don't, definitely don't lose that if you take her head sculpt off. I just want to put this on so you guys can see again what this looks like. I mean, it's just truly amazing how crazy this figure is, man. So it fits like that and it kind of drags behind, but it almost has like a Malachi Black thing going on where it's like there's just so much going on with it that you kind of get lost in it. It just kind of absorbs the character. But this is so good, man. Look at that right there. She's got the foe going down. And then again, when she puts her arms out, you have these things flailing down. And then a shot from the behind there. And she's got the flowing robe. I mean, dude, this is crazy good. But with that being said, said, let's dive into the figure itself. All right, so starting at the top of the head scope with the Asuka figure. We already took a look at it. It fits the figure really, really well, man. Just a great looking figure, dude. Look at the sculpts here on the sides right there. You got the pink and the blue going on. It kind of comes off red, but it is pink. You got the gold in there, which I really like. You got the, the top is sculpted on right here. Again, she does have the choker necklace on there. We do have butterfly joints on this, which is just so nice, man. I mean, the women's figures in 24 are going to be unreal, but the butterfly joints are so damn nice. I love it. The pinless double-jointed arms. One thing that's crazy is this belt is even articulated. The belt is articulated. That is nuts, man. It even has a port like a freaking Ultimate Warrior figure on the knees. I told you, man, I mean, this is a sculpted-on little belt piece here, and they didn't turn anything away. You got the zebra print thong over the pants, which is something that Asuka's always done. Black wrist tape or gauntlets for the gloves, whatever you want to say there. She also has this gold and black arm wrap, which is, fits the figure well. doesn't hinder anything, which I really like. Tons of sculpt going on right here. This is sculpted on crosshatch patterns. You have these, like, gold beads and stuff. I don't really care for her knee pads. I feel like they're a bit thickums, but, you know, I can't really judge that. She's always had these style knee pads on her figures, but they have a little crosshatch pattern. Just a ton of details, man. And a lot of people were picking on the gear. The gear is fine. The, the, the gear is fantastic. It's what she was wearing, and it looks really good. Black and gold is classic. Even have the kick pads right here with the zebra print. Dude, this is unreal. You got the X's on there, or I guess it's it's really, it's actual strings and whatnot, but she got the Ultimate Edition feet in there. Pretty sure she, like, she has a thing where she's been wearing KDs, for, like the same pair of KDs for years. I don't know, these are probably new ones, but when she was in NXT, bro, when she stopped being, like, wearing, like, the, you know, those, like, foot flops or whatever that looked like, you know, you could see the outline of the toes. When she switched to her sneakers, she wore, the, like, the same pair of KDs for, like, 10 years. I swear to God, it wasn't 10 years, but you know what I mean, but she's even got, like, mismatching colors. This is just unbelievable. This Asuka, man, this Asuka, no real head movement for real, but again, butterfly joint, which is very nice, can reach way back there, can go above 90, double jointed arm, bicep swivel, dude, I mean, good lord. All this diaphragm pivoting, you get a nice waist in there, you can do the splits, she does have drop down hips, but she can kick forward really, really nicely, and then if you drop down the hip and then push it forward, she can even get it up higher. Double jointed knee. She has boots swivel. Her boots go down and up. She has the articulation at the toe. Yeah, you, know, you know, the Ultimate Edition special. God, dude, the drop down hips. I'm still in the, you know, I'm sort of still in the fence about it. But her pinless joints are not super tight. So this is nice, man. Need to have that across the board. I'm so tired of these damn Ultimate Editions and these elites with their tight ass pinless joints that ruin a figure. But I do want to get into some Asuka figure comparisons. So for your Asuka figure comparisons, I do have her Elite 47, but it's actually at my brother's house. 
I think I gifted it to him for his birthday or something like that one year. And so I just kind of gave it away to him. So he keeps it at his house for his display because he's a massive Asuka fan. And he's going to love this figure. I mean, no doubt about it. But this is the Network Spotlight Target exclusive on the left. We have the Elite 87, I do believe it was, on the right. So we haven't really had an Elite Asuka in a minute. But dude, this Ultimate, we, if you never released another Asuka, it'd be fine. But this is really sweet. I'd like to see another Elite of Asuka without the face paint. But dude, this just is so unreal. What an unreal figure figure, man, but it is cool to see the Oscars up next to each other. She's always been very toyetic. She's always had some badass figures, and this is just going to top the list in terms of Asuka elites and ultimates and action figures overall. And then for some other female figure comparisons, you have Asuka up next to Alexa Bliss Ultimate Edition, Elite 105 EO Sky, Elite 91 Bianca Belair, Elite 103 Liv Morgan, the Ultimate Edition Charlotte Flair, and the Shop AEW exclusive Jade Cargill, who kind of towers over these figures, but hopefully we'll get a Mattel of her in a year or so. I bet 2025 we'll get a figure figure of her hopefully so we'll have to see about all those things or maybe they'll kind of shell her figure out maybe they'll know about her royal rumble gear maybe they knew about her gear way before and maybe we'll get that figure soon enough but Maybe we'll get an Ultimate Edition or an Elite of her in due time. But it is cool to see these figures up next to each other. And the the way I'm sitting here, man, they need to give us a new Ultimate Edition Becky Lynch because her first Ultimate Edition was trash. I'd really like to see them give that another go and we can uh, get her in here. And also, I need to get a second copy of the Bianca Belair Ultimate Edition because I never opened mine. So there's that. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Ultimate Edition Series 20 Asuka figure review, man. I'm going to be real. You know, I'm, I may have a hot take here, but I remember when this figure was kind of on the cusp, right? I want to say, was it, I don't know if it was an entrance greats figure or if it was, it was a long time ago. I want to say it was based on like WrestleMania 35 maybe or something like that. Remember we were going to get like an ultimate Asuka, not an ultimate edition Asuka, but a, a really top of the line, really top quality Asuka figure. We were supposed to get one. It was rumored it had the jacket and the, the robe and it was supposed to be this really elaborate Asuka figure everybody was looking forward to. I want to say it was an entrance greats figure based on WrestleMania, but I could be wrong about that. However, I feel feel like had we gotten that, this figure wouldn't be as amazing as it is. It's like almost like that figure got delayed. So this one, that one walked so this one could run almost, right? So this one looks unbelievable. This is, I want to say without a shadow of a doubt, I think this is my favorite female figure that Mattel has ever done in the uh, under the WWE umbrella like we stated before. I love the posability. I love the likeness. I love the addition of the butterfly joints is massive. It feels fantastic in hand. It really looks like the character on TV. You have the epic mask. You have the beautiful face paint. You have the robe, the gear, the posability. It checks every single box, I think, for, uh, for a Mattel figure that I always look for in my criteria. So, I mean, it's going to be really hard to beat this figure this year. Especially, like, in the female figure space, in the male figure space, man, it does not matter what the what the criteria is going to be this year it's in terms of stuff, right? Like, Ultimate Editions, we're going to rank those at the end of 2024. Of course, a long way to go. I don't know all the you know all the ultimate editions that are coming. They could blow me away with something else. But in terms of what we gotten so far, this one's unbelievable, man. And I don't know if I've ever put over a figure that hard, but I guess it's just maybe it's because I, I lived through the Mattel female figures that were so damn basic. I wanted to throw them the hell out in the yard. We used to complain about it all the time, right? They had the slappy hand. They had no hinge movement. They had single jointed knees, single jointed arms. They just were lifeless. And now we're finally getting some just top of the line female figures. This figure right here, it, it it overtook Ronda Rousey, I think, as my favorite female figure that Mattel's ever done. You guys know I, I put over the Ronda Rousey Ultimate Edition all the time here on the channel. This one's probably putting it in the damn Oscar log and tapping it out out in the yard, man. I mean, this, this figure right here kicks ass. So with, uh, with my approval, you absolutely want to get this figure, man. I guess if you don't collect female figures, you don't collect, you know, this, you know, you don't care about this figure. It's, it's Oscar. I'm not a big Oscar fan, whatever. Uh, Oh, my freaking rotation base died. You know, those things, I mean, that's up to you, man, but you're going to miss out on a damn just gem. I think this is one of those figures that blows a lot of stuff out of the water. I love the detail on the arm wrap right there. They just, there was no detail skipped over on this figure, and it absolutely shows. Just, uh, just a st standing ovation to the Mattel design team. Bill, you outdid yourself, fella. Everybody over there working on this line and this this specific figure, you, you crushed it, man. But that is going to wrap up the video.
video. I had a ton of fun with this Asuka, and it's going to be one of those that I sit down and I just... It's going to be like the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey, where it just kind of hangs around my, my area, my office area, my desk area, whatever. I'm just going to pick it up and pose it around, just for the hell of it. But anyways, man, that is going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Again, go over there, grab this figure. Even if it's up for pre-order or back order, you definitely need to grab it anyways. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those fellas over there. Hopefully the room tour will be posted today, man. Again, once you see the office, you'll probably, hopefully you'll understand like, holy shit, no wonder it took him forever. So I hope that everything is worth it, man. But that is going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on everything down in the comment section below what you think of the Oscar figure. If you grabbed it, I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one and I'll catch you later.